Good morning! It is week four of BTHQ banter. Can you believe it? Feels like only yesterday I started doing this. Um, thank you so much for all of your likes and comments and everything else on the video so far. You seem to be really enjoying them, which is great. Um, it's really nice for me to be able to share a little bit of my space and my day to day with you. Um, and especially for those of you who'd really love to come here, but perhaps live just a little bit too far away. So, Today is week two of our three week beginner sewing course. It is currently quarter past nine, so I've got 45 minutes before the ladies arrive. Um, we're going to be carrying on with their first project today. We didn't quite get it finished last week. Um, they should finish that really quickly, probably in the first 15 20 minutes. Um, so I'll be able to show you that and then. They're going to get started on their tote bags. This afternoon I have a one-to-one -one get to know your sewing machine and then I'm going to hopefully get a tiny bit of filming done and we've got the lovely Carolyn, our knitting teacher and she's running a knitting class to make cabled hats next door in unit two. So it's a busy day. Now let me just cover the elephant in the room first of all. If you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen I've acquired some new locks. What do we think? got my long hair back I'm really really happy with them um, but I suspect by the end of the day it'll be up in a ponytail because it will probably have annoyed me let's see how we go <laughs> Sandra's come in this morning a little bit early for her class because she's bought her cake or skein of yarn in she's never worked with a skein before so I'm just whizzing it up on the wall winder for her to save her getting in a tangle <laughs> So the ladies have finished their first project. I'm going to ask you a question, ladies. In one or two words, when you walked in the door here last week, how were you feeling? Nervous. <laughs> Nervous? Nervous. Nervous. Oh, I wasn't. Excited. Excited? Excited. That's good. Yeah? Anyone Nervous lacking in confidence? Nervously yes. excited. <laughs> excitement. Yeah? yeah? Show us what you've made. Ta-da! <laughs> how are you feeling now? Happy. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> and their faces are smiling too. Smiling. I won't get your face. My hair's a mess. Your hair's beautiful. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> I didn't pay her to say that. Yeah. So we've got a knitting class going on today. Carol's over there. She's teaching the tea bag hat. Should we give it a spin? Which has got this lovely cable design around the outside and then two little pom-poms on the back which Carol designed for us. It's got a matching cowl as well and she's going to teach to Sandra and Suzanne. They're making this lovely little cable hat here. So they're all happily knitting away. I just walked into a wall. That hurt. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> and Carol is over here. Other Carol. She's having a get to know your sewing machine session. She's got this lovely really nice actually singer brilliance machine i've not seen one of those before and while she practices i'll just say i was really impressed with the range of feet that come with this machine um quite a lot of times when you get um a sewing machine even the ones we use the janome cxl 301s although they're computerized they don't actually have a massive range of feet that comes with them but this one comes with a concealed zipper foot a button attachment foot a blind hem foot a normal zipper foot um, a quarter inch foot and a teflon foot as well so i was quite impressed with the the range of feet that it has considering that it is a very basic computerized machine it doesn't have like a needle up and down button or anything like that it's all hand wheel so it's interesting um how the different sewing machine companies differ in what they provide so I've spent the afternoon filming the tutorial for project number three of our So Beautiful Things Sewing Club. I can't share it with you because it's not released until the 1st of February. But I will do a separate video on the So Beautiful Things projects that we've done so far as soon as it's been released. As you can see the lounge is quite a popular place to hang out mm. when you're waiting for a lift home. <laughs> <laughs> It's another day done at BTHQ. I'm going home for a nice glass of wine and we're back tomorrow with the patchwork and quilting and crochet fronds shawl. And if I'm really lucky, I'm gonna get some time to sew my birthday party dress. Bearing in mind, I have less, no, exactly a week, exactly a week until it needs to be finished. And it's still in its fabric form. Hmm. <laughs> 
Good morning, it is Saturday and I'm back at BTHQ. Today I'm teaching a crochet class. We're gonna be making a start on the Franz Schul by the Crochet Project, Joanne Grace um, pattern, which is really lovely, which we enjoy doing. Um, and next door in unit one, we have our patchwork and quilting class um, with Maria and they've just got started, hence why I'm talking a bit quietly. Um, and they don't think I'm mad and talking to myself. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's very nice. That's perfect. I know it's time for you, all you've done is turn around. But it's beautiful Disney fabrics. People that manage to put them down in a different order than they're in the middle. Don't laugh, it happens to you all the time. <laughs> yes. This is one of my favourite things about when you teach this class, and I bet you're the same, Maria, is that when you oh, get fabrics. to see everyone's fabric choices, because yeah, no. they're so different. So we've gone from like gorgeous Liberty kind of style yeah, yeah. to yeah. Mickey yeah. Mouse. <laughs> oh, no. It's awesome. They're all very quiet in here because they're counting, so we have to be not let them concentrate you just got your face emma you didn't want your face in it <laughs> oh look <laughs> concentration della's over there she's doing my beginner's course she's doing really well no, I've lost a stitch the line. that's all right you'll pick it up again later <laughs> so it's Saturday afternoon and the quilting ladies are having their lunch so I have a very short time in which I can finally cut out my 40 for 40 dress. I'm petrified I'm going to muck this up but this afternoon is dedicated to sewing it together. Wish me luck. No, I'm fine, I'm just scared. Breathe. Pin and breathe and then step away. Mm. Pin, breathe and step away. Yeah. Right. That's right. Just walk away. Walk away? Just walk away. And come back to it. Yeah. It's okay. It's good. It's straight. It's there. One down, one to go. Well, yeah, then the lining, but I don't care about the lining. The lining, the lining can be wonky as it likes. The thing is, as well, is that I've put so much expectation on myself as well because I've vlogged this whole journey of of making this dress from start to finish, from buying the fabric to designing it to drafting it and everything else. If I rock up to the party on Friday and I'm not wearing it, people are going to be like, "Where's the dress? We only came to see the dress," and I'm like. Well, I might not like it. I might put it on and I might not, might not like how it looks, but it's tough. I have to wear it. So because the ladies are next door, I don't want to get under their feet. So I've set myself up a little sewing area here in unit two. My overlocker and a sewing machine. The dress is all cut out and I'm good to go. So it's together. I haven't done the kick pleat bit at the back yet or hemmed it. I'm going to have to do that by hand. But, ta-da, the Fit for 40 frock project frock is complete. I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to give you a big reveal. You're going to have to watch my Fit for 40 videos. Um, I'll link part one up here. And then I'll also put part two up so you can watch those. Um, and then there will be part three coming in a couple of weeks' time. And then there'll be the big reveal video too. If you follow me on Instagram, um, then you'll see the pictures probably next Friday night, um, which will be my party. In fact, it will be today that you're watching this video um, will be my party. So you'll see it then. Good morning. It is Monday. I had to think about that one for a minute. It's free. 
freezing cold and I'm absolutely shattered. So yesterday I went to the Waltham Abbey Wall Show with my mum and Izzy, which was really, really lovely. If you want to see that, um, I'll link it up here, but it features in the weekly yarn that went up on Monday. So if you subscribe to this channel, then you may have already seen it which is fab. If not, go take a look. So today is admin day and what that means is we get the studio all clean and tidy, um, all sorted. Mum will come in shortly and get cracking on um, sort of unthreading and rethreading the sewing machines, having a bit of a hoover, emptying the bins, all the sorts of things that need doing. So the housework basically. Um, and it's normally when I catch up on bits that I can only do here at the studio. And today, what that means for me is I've got the to camera parts to film for both my online project bag course and also project number three of our So Beautiful Things sewing club. I'll pop details for both of those down below. So I've got to do all the to camera parts um, where I'm talking you through the process. I've already filmed all of the actual making um, and then I just edit and drop those in over the top. So it's a long process to get those videos done, um, but I've got you know a really good plan to be able to do it now. So well practiced. We're also gonna have a visit from the lovely Tim in about 15 minutes. The last thing I feel like doing is exercising, um, but he always tells me I'll feel better afterwards. So we shall see. All good. It's all gravy. Right, let's go. Second set. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of one of them little uh, workout YouTube Joe Wicks videos. Yeah. That's what he always does. So, what it? you're going to do is yeah, grab yeah, your yeah, kettlebell yeah, yeah, yeah. and swing. And swing it in there. And swing. Oh, these ones really hurt. Squat and shoulder raise next. We'll go when you're ready once you get going, timer's on. Mm. Really? <laughs> Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Well, well done. Excellent. So funny, you've got your rugs on. It's cold. It's cold. Get the Uggs on. <sighs> That's all you're seeing. You are destined never to see an admin day. So mum is here. Here's evidence. Hello. She's here and she has started tidying up. We've just spent the last hour going through our diaries and kind of juggling childcare and managing all sorts of stuff. The phone's just rung. Izzy's just thrown up everywhere, so mummy to the rescue. I need to go home now, so maybe you'll see admin day next week. All sewn up. We just need to make the top and attach it. Have you been sick? I'm coming. A mother's work is never done. Right in the middle of recording my video. Blech. Never mind. Let's get back to it. What day is it today? Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. Totally lost track of time. So, Tuesday, Izzy is much better. Yes, she was quite sick yesterday, but she is much better today. But obviously, because she's been sick and because she was sick at school as well, there's no way she can go into school today because they like to keep them off for another 24 hours just to make sure they're not passing on any bugs, which is fair enough. But this mummy still has to go to work, so thankfully I am very, very lucky and I have my lovely mum on hand and Izzy is going to grandma's for the day. I go crazy after I'm sick. You do go crazy after you're sick, so good luck grandma. I'm going to drop her and then head straight to the studio. I've got one-to-one -one clients all day today. So naughty but so nice. I had to stop for a breakfast baguette on the way here. I'm starving. Brilliant. So... Check that take up lever, is it up? Is it up and up? Yes it is, that's fine. So you lift your presser foot, pull your fabric out, and away you go. So I've got Katie with me today. She's here for a one-to-one -one and she's brought me a really interesting project. So she owns a company, what's it called Katie? TP Dreams. TP Dreams. And basically she goes to people's houses and she rocks up with these little tents. Show you. These little things here, let's go inside. And they're all set up for little girls' slumber parties. 
So I think it's a really lovely idea. Her other half makes the frames for her and she did have a lady making the um, canopies but she realised this was probably something that she could do herself and she can. So she's bought herself a sewing machine, she's come along, we've just done a get to know your sewing machine session and now we're going to deconstruct this and have a look and we're going to work out exactly how to make it and I'm going to teach Katie how to make her own covers. So that's the sort of interesting thing that you can do with me on a one to one basis if you so wish. Do you like my bow tie? It's very cute isn't it? just knocked up a little sample um, for a new class that I'm going to launch later in the year while Kate is sewing just little toddler's bow ties um, which are perfect if you're going to go to a wedding or a party or something. This fabric's cute. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There you go, little elephants on it. So we finished Katie's little tent. It's very cute. You go inside. <laughs> We've got lovely little pink ties on it and it's looking fantastic. Good morning, it is Wednesday, um, the final morning of BTHQ banter for this week. Um, I've just got into the studio um, and I've got about an hour before my first client arrives so I've got a bit of admin to do unpack the cups and the dishes that have all come back um, from mum's dishwasher. Cheers mum. Um, and yeah, we've got a crochet clinic this morning, so I've got a one-to-one -one, um, with the lovely Avril. She's going to work on some patterns that she's a bit stuck on. And then another one-to-one -one, get-to-know-your-sewing machine this afternoon. So nothing particularly um, exciting to show you, um, but an average kind of day at BTHQ. Um, it snowed last night, um, but thankfully, although it did settle... Oh, no! Hang on! lighting there we go you can see although it did settle it didn't snow for very long that is now just solid ice um so the lovely bob who works here has been around this morning with his salt wheelbarrow um and cleared the paths from the car park to our front door so no one's going to fall over which is nice um so yeah i might catch up with you a bit later so while avril's working her way through her crochet pattern I'm sitting here and finally hand stitching the hem on my 40 for 40 dress. So it's Wednesday, the party's Friday. I'm not cutting it too fine. That was so lovely. I didn't film because I didn't think it was really fair to. But you'll remember in last week's BTHQ banter, I was on the phone to a chap um, who wanted to learn to use his overlocker and also how to use his sewing machine. Um, so he's just come in for his get to know your sewing machine. And it was so nice because he's got no reason necessarily some people come because they want to launch a swimwear range or they want to make beds for dogs or something along those lines but he just wants to learn to sew um, which was really lovely and I said to him I said it's just such a shame that there isn't more men that want to sew just because they want to sew um, but society seems to think it's not normal yet if I wanted to go and learn to play football or if I wanted to learn how to fix my car, then no one would bat an eyelid. So if I can do those things, why can't men come to sewing classes? So brilliant, I was so chuffed. We've had such a nice afternoon. Um, he's coming back again to do a Learn to Love Your Overlocker and he's also just booked our three week beginner sewing course, which is super. So you may or may not see him um, on the camera. He booked an evening class, so I'm not here, so I won't have the camera. Um, but yeah, so nice. So we want more men sewing, please. Anyway, I'm done for the day now. I'm going to pick up little Miss Mac from school. Tomorrow is my day off and then BTHQ banter will go up on Friday. So this is the last you're gonna see of me for this week. I hope you've enjoyed looking around the studio. Um, do follow me on Instagram if you don't already because if you have been following my Fit for 40 frock project, I'll link it up here, then tomorrow night, no not tomorrow night, Friday night is the night that I will be Finally wearing the dress. I'm going to give you a sneaky peek. Here it is. All pressed and hanging up, ready to wear. So I'm going to be wearing that on Friday night. So there will be photos on Instagram. And then obviously in a couple of weeks time, there will be some more videos showing you 
how I've actually ended up with the finished frock. So thank you very much for watching. If you have stumbled across this channel and you don't already subscribe, please do subscribe below. Please give me a nice big thumbs up and do leave a comment. I like to know that you've enjoyed things and if you want to see more of the studio and things that we do here, please just leave us a comment below. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon.